All right, in this video, I will do a two-part session on how to create installation drawings of an assembly. Typically, an installation drawing is where we might show a top-level assembly, but we want to highlight a particular sub-assembly within that uh, higher-level assembly. And I'll show a couple of different techniques. In this first video, we'll just use a technique called changing the component line font. First thing we need to do is take a look at the feature manager tree for the drawing. So I'll just expand the drawing sheet, expand the desired drawing view, and then I can see all the components, sub-assemblies and top-level parts that compose this assembly. Now my intention is to have all of the components except for this camera housing sub-assembly show up in a lighter line font. So what I'll do is a shift select so that I select all the components of the assembly. Then I'll hold down the control key and select the camera assembly which basically deselects it from the selection list so I have everything selected except for the camera now I just right click and I choose component line font with component line font I'll uncheck the use document defaults option and now I have the ability of changing the line style for the visible edges visible edges means the lines you see in the drawing representing each component let's change it to a dashed line and I'll go to a uh, 0.18 millimeter line thickness so it's going to be a really fine line thickness notice that we have a setting to apply this uh, uh, this selection just to the selected view or to all views now since I only have one view on this drawing it doesn't matter but if you do have multiple views on a drawing sheet you might want to just choose from selection uh, or all views you can also specify layers here as well let's hit OK and now we see all the components except the camera housing have gone to a dashed font Let's now right click on the camera assembly subassembly in the feature manager, choose component line font, and here I will override document defaults. I'll use a solid line font, but let's bump up the thickness to say 0.7. And now we've isolated that component for our installation drawing. So the component line font command, very handy way that you can highlight one or more components in an assembly drawing for creating assembly installation drawings. Stay tuned for part two.